Now let's watch the second question here. So in the second question, it is it is again the same kind of question. They are saying that main memory is 32 bytes, right? So let me delete these numbers. So in the second question, they are saying that uh, main memory is 32 GB, right? Therefore, how much is physical address? Physical address is 35 bits. And then cache size is, the cache size um, is, you know, 15. Okay, cache size is uh, 32 KB and the block size is 1 KB. So, when the block size is 1 KB, then what is the block offset? 10 bits, right? And then, uh, yeah, let's fill it up. So, here the block size is 10 bits, right? And then uh, what about the line number? Uh, so line number, not to find out the line number, what I'll do is uh, line number, you know, the number of lines I'll find out. Number of lines will be cache size divided by block size or line size, both are same. And what is cache size here? 32 KB divided by 1 KB, right? So how much is this? 25, 2 power 5. 32 is 2 power 5. Isn't it? Hmm. Therefore, how many bits are required in the line number? 5 bits are required, right? So, totally it is going to be uh, 35 bits out of which, uh, you know, 15 bits are removed, right? Then how many bits are remaining? 20 bits are remaining for the tag. Therefore, tag size is 20 bits and how many lines are there totally? 2 power 5 lines are there. Each line is going to take up 20 bits for tag. Therefore, what is the total size of the tag directory? 20 into 2 power 5 bits. This is the total size of the tag directory. Now, okay, if you observe this, okay, how is this tag, uh, you know, 20? This tag, why is tag bits used? Tag bits are used to identify uh, which one among all the possible blocks are now present in the tag line, isn't it? Now, how many possibilities are there? 2 power 20 possibilities are there for every uh, cache line, right? Therefore, this says that 2 power 20 blocks of the main memory are actually mapped to one line of the cache, isn't it? So, even you can observe it directly. Are you now get, trying to get any clue? We shouldn't have, you know, without doing all this also, we could have directly done it, right? How? See, cache size is 32 KB and main memory size is 32 GB. Then you can directly see what is the ratio among these two, right? Then that, that ratio is nothing but... You know, when you convert them into, okay, observe this. See, now main memory size is 32 GB. Even if you don't follow this method, fine, leave it, right? Main memory size is 32 GB and cache size is 32 KB. Now, even if here also you can say that main memory ratio is 2 power 20, which means every one block here is mapped to 2 power 20 blocks. But then here we are talking about bytes and where did these blocks come into picture? you could have even converted into number of blocks because you know divide with block size and divide with block size then what will this one say this one will say number of blocks which are present in main memory and this one will say number of blocks which are present in the cache the number of lines right therefore this ratio will give us how many blocks of main memory are mapped onto how many lines of cache therefore you could have directly done it without even splitting up it and all right but then if I show you that directly, you will not understand it. With this, you will be able to understand it. Are you able to get the, you know, uh, shortcut? Even if you are not able to get the shortcut, go in the regular method, no problem, right? See, the, uh, the emphasis is on, you know, uh, correctness, not on the fastness here. My emphasis, okay? Fine. So, now let's see the next question. Third question. So, here they are saying that, the cache block size is something and then block size is something tag size is something and they are asking for what is the main memory size so block size is tags are given as seven right and now these uh, from the block size you could get this one as 10 isn't it and then uh, they are asking about the cache size so once the cache size is given right hmm so, how can you find out the number of lines? See this. Now, 512 KB is the cache size and size of each block is 1 KB. Then how many blocks will be there in the cache? 512 blocks will be there, which is nothing but 2 power 9. So, I mean 2 power 9 lines will be there in the cache. So, how many bits are required in the line number? 9 bits, right? So, totally put together, this is going to form the physical address. From that, we can find out the main memory size in bytes, isn't it? So, what is this? 
I, it is 14 and then uh, uh -huh, 16 and then 10 26 therefore the answer is 2 power 26 so here the answer is 2 power 26 2 power 26 bytes which is nothing but 256 mb right okay so without doing all this can you directly find it out see this now tag bits are you no know, 7 so what can you understand from tag bits one block or one line of cache is actually uh, you know uh, used to map uh, see this one block of uh, cache one line of cache is actually used to map 2 power 7 or 2 power 7 blocks of main memory or block to one line of cache isn't it therefore you know for every line for every one line of cache we have 2 power 7 blocks of uh, you know um, uh, main memory isn't it now we can multiply both sides with the block size which means for every one line uh, for every one line into block size right there are 2 power 7 blocks into block size right so the number of lines into block size is going to be the uh, okay so how to do it so for every one line okay so I think I, I think you are getting the intuition right so what I mean to say is directly you multiply this uh, with the available uh, this one available uh, cache size you are going to get the main memory size if you take 2 power 7 which is nothing but the you know which I derived from the tag size and if you multiply with the cache size you are going to get the main memory size right so how is it logical uh, see for every one block right for every two, uh, 2 power 7 blocks of main memory there will be one block of cache that is how it is logical right okay even if you didn't understand this method you follow this uh, short uh, this normal method fine now next one is let's see this one main memory size is okay fourth question main memory size is 16 gb so if main memory size is 16 gb then what is the physical address g is uh, 34 right hmm. so it is 34 physical address is 34 bits and then the block size is 4 kb which means block offset field is going to be 12 bits right and now they want the cache size right so what is the cache size if tag bits are given as 10 so tag bits are given as 10 here and then the line number we don't know but line offset is given as how many 12 bits right and the totally it is 34 so these two added together is 22 these two added together is 22 total it is 34 right so 34 minus 22 is going to be uh, 12 right so number of lines is going to be 12 so what is the size of the uh, what is the size of this uh, cache cache size is number of lines in the cache is 2 power 12 and size of each line is 2 power 12 therefore it is going to be 2 power 24 right which is nothing but 16 mb 2 power 24 bytes now one one interesting thing if you observe it right um, this this particular these two fields these two fields will represent the cache size i think by now you must have figured it out isn't it this one is going to represent how many lines are present in the cache line number and this one is going to represent what is the size of each line isn't it therefore number of lines into size of each line is nothing but the cache number therefore i mean cache block class cache size therefore these two are directly enough to find out the cache size you you need not do anything isn't it so in this previous question if 10 bits are given as watch it in the previous question physical address was initially we found it out as how many 34 bits right and then the tag we found it is given as 10 now you subtract these two how much is this 24 isn't it so these 22 uh, 24 bits are these two fields right and these two fields combined they represent the cache size you could have directly written as 2 power 24 without doing this isn't it but then anyway you will get confused if i directly do that but now after this you please remember the shortcut after this regular method you remember the shortcut now okay anyway we missed out the tag directory size here the tag bits are 7 right earlier and how many how many uh, lines were there in the cache the number of lines that were in the cache was 512 so 
7 into 2 power 9 bits so here number of tag bits are 10 and how many lines are there in the cache 2 power 12 so 10 into 2 power 12 bits right observe this it is bits not bytes okay okay fine what about the next one uh, next one it is given as 64 mb is the size of the main memory and 10 bits are in the block so at least now you should be able to guess it right so it is nothing but 26 so physical address is 26 bits isn't it and now tag bits are 10 right so now if i subtract this it is 16 so 16 bits represent these two fields now these two fields combinedly represent the cache size isn't it therefore what is the cache size 2 power 16 bytes 2 power 16 bytes is the cache size now the problem is we have come to know that these two fields put together is 16 right but then we don't know either this one or this one therefore we cannot guess anything isn't it so here what will be the block size block size could be anything we cannot guess it right because you see what from the given information we could only find out what is the size of the cache and now we really don't know how many bits would have been used for the line offset and how many bits would have been used for the line number right therefore block size we cannot guess right so it can be it can be anything right we could guess some number but then uh, it is not a uh, unique number that is what i mean to say and what about the tag directory size that also we could not guess because we know that the tag num tag bits are 10 but we don't know how many you know lines are there for that i need to have this they have combined we are able to combine the derive what the size of it is right but we cannot guess it right so therefore these two fields we cannot guess right Huh. what about the next one main memory for the next question cache size is given main memory size is not given block size is not given tag bits are given okay uh, now let's see what we could do with that hmm. cache size is given as 7 okay watch it now they are giving the cache size right so cache size is 512 kb so what can you guess from that i mean what is 512 kb so if it is 512 kb it can be written as 2 power 19 bytes right so if the cache size is 2 power 19 bytes it means that line number plus line offset fields these two fields put together is 19 bits that is what we could guess so these two fields put together is 19 bits huh. and now tag bits are given as 7 here it is 7 therefore combinedly it is you know 19 plus 7 is uh, 26 so we could guess that the total physical address size is 26 therefore what is this 2 power 26 bytes that is what we could we could find out now how can i find out block size it is impossible because you know these two bits combined with these two fields are given as 19 so again we have to guess some number it is not unique right so again here also we can't guess and here also we can't guess right so anyway one one important thing that you should be you know remembering is uh, these two fields are going to combinedly give you the cache size right and this one is nothing but the ratio the ratio among the ratio between the main memory and cache so if these two things if you can learn from these examples many questions you can solve them easily so in order to find out the tag you need not do all this we can find out the ratio right so in the questions of this uh, you know uh, direct mapping if you want to find out the tag you need not do anything just take the ratio right and then these two fields added together is going to be the size of the cache got it okay so uh, these, these are the kinds of uh, numerical questions which are possible tag directory size is frequently asked maybe you can you can practice on that as well okay